749 now. Vision problems can hit at any age, but as we age, we'll see even more problems. See what we did right there? So it is a good thing. Technology is keeping up. We have Richard Tapping with us, who has a look at all kinds of things beyond our readers that can help us see better. So Richard, good morning to you. Good morning. First of all, what is low vision? Not a term uh, most people will be familiar with. It's yeah. a term that is a collection of what we call eye diseases. So things that cannot be corrected with eyeglasses, okay. surgery, injections, things like that. So some familiar terms would be cataracts, glaucoma. The big one is macular degeneration. Yeah. So age-related eye disease. Okay, and some things like low lighting can prove a problem. Th yeah, these are things that have a hugely impactful uh, are hugely impactful to daily activities. Absolutely. So you brought some great new devices on the market for us. We're going to start over here. We've got a magazine and uh, you know I want to do some reading but I just can't make out those words. That's right. And magazines typically you know very small font you know similarly things like newspapers. So this is a very simple device. You'd simply place it down on your reading oh, wow. material and then you can have some buttons here that allow you to magnify it, make it nice and big so it makes it nice and easy to see. Mm -hmm. We also have some contrast options so really popping these letters that again can help uh, help the, the text really pop out and make it much easier to see. We also have color contrast that can reduce glare, so depending on the eye condition. Um, this is particularly useful because that's a little handle, so it's something you could take to a supermarket, get prices on the shelves much easier, things like that. What is that called and how much does it go for? So this is called the Ruby XLHD from mm -hmm. Freedom Scientific, and these types of magnifiers typically range from about 500 up to about $1,000. This particular one is around eight, $900. Okay, now I'm sitting at home, I want to do some cooking, but I can't make out the cookbook. Right, so a step up from this, this would be, the smaller one would be the type of device that you mm -hmm. take into a restaurant, out and about. This one's slightly larger, something you might have at home, you can take it room to room. Take it to the kitchen, get your recipe book out, so and start cooking again. So we just place it underneath? So exactly, you place it underneath down here, you have underneath. all this working area, and this camera can actually move around wow. and spin around, so you can actually point this anywhere. So if you okay. need extra help looking at certain utensils, right. this can be used for that. Okay, now what on earth is this? Is this 3D virtual reality? What do we have <laughs> Not here? Not quite, augmented reality. So okay. what this does is it takes the principles of magnification and contrast that we have in these other devices, and puts it into a wearable device that, so for hands-free. You might want to watch television, you might want to read a book, you might want to take it to a sporting event, things oh. like that. So it brings the magnification up nice and close to the eyes. All right. Where do we get more information on these devices? Uh, we've set up a uh, website, lowvision.com, nice and straightforward. <laughs> yes. There's uh, phone numbers on there. We have teams in Florida and California. They can be there to help either educate about what resources and education are available, or we can talk about what type of products might fit for somebody. Because that could be a real game changer. I hate to miss out. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a game changer for I'm sure. I'm a stickler about my vision too. Any little thing, I'm in back in that doc doctor's office. Right, absolutely. Yeah. And that's another great point is annual eye exams. Yes. Catch them early. All right. Richard, thank you so much. My pleasure. Great devices here. Lowvision.com. We'll be right back, Arizona. Stay with us.